Okay, so a uh, very good afternoon. I'd like to meet to Sir Hamidudin and our peers. And not to forget uh, Mr. Azru, who hopefully is watching our video. Okay, so today, all five of us stand here before you. I'm uh, going to present a very important task that we have up to. Five proof concrete. But before I go in further into this topic, I'd like to kick start our presentation by introducing our group members. That made this possible. First, our group leader, Ms. Lim Niwai, and then Mr. Johan. Mr. Sawakia and Mr. D. Chong, and myself, uh, Elsa Okay, so, first off, I'd like to give you guys a full overview of uh, our presentation, presentation today. So, our company, D1, enables the production of fiber concrete using conventional mix design. We have uh, came out with an innovation or new methods or new compositions of uh, fiber concrete that are able to help to form our own. Uh, normal concrete. And before I go in further again, all five of us form a company called D1. Why D1? D1 stands, is derived from a German word, the wall. Why do we choose the wall as our company name? It's because that we think that the wall is a foundation to buildings. In order to go higher, you need better walls. So, you need better foundation. That's why we chose the wall as our company name. And then, now to dive into our company objectives. The objectives for our product, there are three uh, main objectives. Control, fireproof, and top quality and durability. First off, uh, control. Control is actually a, an elusive concept in this industry. Why? Because it's hard to gain control, full control of the construction site. And, but our company back to deeper because by using our concrete, our fiber concrete, you're able, the contractors are able to uh, regain control, full control of your construction site. This is such that because by using our offsite produced uh, products, uh, constructors are able to get high quality products that um, does not require much labor on site. Because our, you see, our products are produced offsite. So um, you do not have to produce this uh, products concrete and such on on site. So uh, and other than that, our, our I mean environmental factors does not go in to our production because it's produced in factories because it's uh, offsite production. So you will not be affected by weathers and such on. Moving on, fireproof. As you can see, uh, our product is fireproof concrete. So fireproof is of course one of the main uh, criteria that we have to fulfill. One of the main objectives. Because that fire is a, a huge threat to our buildings nowadays. And concrete is all around us. So uh, by saying fireproof concrete, we are able to produce and keep off uh, maximum protection against fire. And last but not least, top quality and durability. Uh, this objective is pretty self-explanatory, but top quality, we um, we promise to give off maximum quality, high-end uh, concrete products to provide uh, maximum security and protection to your loved ones at home. And high durability, our product has been tested, when we went through a lot of trials to be able to uh, give off maximum performance and also withstand a long lifespan. Okay, next up, a literature review. As I said before, fire has become one of the greatest threats that uh, building is facing. And concrete, of course, threatened because concrete is the primary construction material in a building. It's all around us, even in this room. So, um, but however, there's a fundamental problem that concrete faces. It's spalling effect, spalling uh, phenomenon, which also means that the separation of concrete masses from the body of the concrete element, which will weaken the uh, structural integrity of the building itself. So, and it is given in 2011, and Khalid Muhammad Nasa in 2011 also, they studied the behaviors of concrete and uh, when they are placed against extreme heat. So, from this, we have learned that um, normal concrete would not withstand extreme heat. Next up, uh, Shihada in 2011 also investigated the effect of adding TDT, or also known as poly, poly, polypropylene fibers uh, in concrete, and when and tested against TDT. So based on this, 
we have gained more knowledge, more information, more data regarding uh, improving our fiber concrete. So, based on this, all these studies, you can see that development in fiber concrete is essential. So, uh, from this, we, can, we would like to say that we have went through a lot of trials, a lot of studies, a lot of data, and we have perfected our fiber concrete. Thanks a lot. I'll give it to Mr. Nima. Okay, so I'll start to explain our companies for our logos, our clients, and also our competitors. So as you can see on screen, our logo is made of triangular shapes with featuring a brick structure. So there's a question here, like why we choose triangle as our fundamental shapes for the logos? Because we think, no, no, we think, in fact, the triangle is the most toughest shapes in the world. So we expect our products that we produce can can give our can give our customers uh, certain points of confidence to our products, and also the rate brings that indicates the buyer the, the vision that we looking forward to, which which is the fireproof and also fire resistance of the concrete. And we have a tagline, which is your loved one will be able to wake up peacefully, even though there was a tragedy yesterday. So with this tagline, we envision that we can provide a better a better shelter, a better, a more safer shelter to you and your families and your loved one or your important belongings to keep it in a safer place and you don't you there's no necessity for you to worry worry about your precious thing. And and also our concrete has been tested with numerous system which recognized by the Cement and Concrete Association of Malaysia, CNCA. That's, that's why we are confident on our we are confident on our products and our company is founded in 2018 which chaired by Miss Lemon and by um, and another four like um, impactful purposeful soul. Uh, okay next let's go to our clients. Uh, our main client is developers who construct and also build our uh, building or also for residential area. So the main draw point of the developer is our the properties of the concrete, which is fire resistance and also fireproof. And there are also several local authorities, for example, school and police stations, which use which choose our product as their their subsidiary subsidiary for the materials of buildings, their office or something, just to give a better, just a, to give a safer environment for the for their people and also for their documentation to be stored in. And we have two ministries that work work with us to choose our products, which is the Ministry of Defence and also the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. They choose our they choose our project. They choose our products is because we can provide a very safe environment and also a, very, a good environment for them to store their important documents that can survive from a fire accident. And we have also we also have a fire and we also have a contract that signed with us and also a fire rescue department of Malaysia that they will feature our they will feature and also recommend our products to the attendees that attends their fire safety seminar. And apparently, we are not the only companies which do fire concrete. There are several companies which do similar pro products with us. So, um, I will narrow down to three main companies which is with us, SICA, and also Fireproof Contractors. So what they, have, what they have been doing is that provides extensive support to the engineers and also developers from top to bottom. They also provide materials, they also provide like fire resistant mortar, they provide fire resistant brick, um, cement and concrete that we do as well. But why we stand out from all these companies which is internationally running? So I will add these points to my friends here, Miss Lambert, to further discuss about it. Uh, good evening everyone. Okay, I am Lin Li Wai. 
the chairperson of this company. Okay, uh, as you all know, we are selling fireproof concrete. And for every building and man-made structures, the concrete bricks are the essential, is one of the essential elements in uh, these buildings. And uh, for our products, we have three types. As you can see in the picture, DW20, DW30, and DW40. Okay, each and every type is used for different parts. For example, DW20 and DW30 is used in columns and beams as they have steel structures as reinforcement. And DW40 is used for wall buildings. Okay. Uh, next, we have uh, different sizes and dimensions of products. Okay. Developers, contractors, engineers will use different uh, sizes to build their building and they have different designs, they have different uh, length, width and height. Uh, our, we have various uh, sizes to suit their design. Okay, next, our uh, fireproof concrete has uh, four main advantages. First is it can withstand high heat, high uh, extreme heat. Second, is very durable. Third, it's eco-friendly. And fourth, it is cost effective. Okay. Our fireproof concrete can withstand heat up to 600 degree, degrees Celsius compared to normal concrete. It can only withstand to about uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, next, our our fireproof concrete is very durable. It can uh, it can last for over and next, uh, it is very eco-friendly as uh, it doesn't release toxic gases when it is burned. And during the production, it does not uh, produce much carbon dioxide as we use a um, very special admixture. Okay, next, it is very cost effective. Uh, it is very affordable by everyone as uh, we minimize our cost so that uh, everyone can afford it. Next, I will pass to Waikat to explain about the pro material properties of our fireproof concrete. Let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Waikat. I'm the manufacturing and the production engineer. So first, I will introduce mm -hmm. our concrete materials property. So first one, quasi metal materials. Why? What is quasi metal material? Quasi metal material is the material that um, have a brittle property, but it doesn't have the fully fractious, uh, fully fractious properties when it reaches the ultimate strength. So you can see here the pictures here. Um, even though even though the concrete is cracked, but it still remains original shape. So um, move on to the second, the material property, which is super low thermal conductivity. Why? Why concrete have super low thermal conductivity? Because our concrete is chemically inert and uh, have very less free moving ions, so therefore it's very hard to transfer heat energies throughout the concrete. So third one, we will have super high heat capacity. So what it mean by uh, super high heat capacity is the concrete can absorb a lot of heat energy without changing temperatures. So now, before I move to my next slide, I would like to say, because as a uh, material engineer, I need to do a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, experiments to ensure I can provide the good quality of concrete to my customers. So let me emphasize what's the experiment that I carry out. The first one is the stretch string diagram of our concrete various temperature. The second one is the modulus of velocity various the temperature. And the last one is the thermal expansion of our concrete. So more or less like stretch string diagram various temperature. So for your formation, the u strength, the u strength of concrete uh, during the RTP means the room temperature is uh, 10 mega pascal. So for the ultimate strength in the room temperature is 40 mega pascal. So as you can see in the graph here, we do carry out the experiment through various temperatures, such as 100, 200, 300, and so on until 800. So as the graph you can see, um, the stress strain diagram is, uh, I mean the 
yield strength and the ultimate strength is getting lesser and lesser when it comes to a high high temperature. So um, this data is quite official for us, like uh, bacterial engineers, for us to know that um, like we can tackle a lot of uh, different conditions, different temperature in order for us to create a better uh, and durable surface. Okay, so move on to the next slide. Modules of velocity. So uh, for information as well, the our modules of velocity of our concrete is 5 times 10 to the power of 3 megapascal to 35 times 10 to the power of 3 megapascal. Um, and is the modulus of velocity is doing the room temperature. So I also did carry out a lot, a lot of the experiments with the various temperature to to test our concrete whether it can withstand a lot of temperature. Huh? So we find out that the modulus of velocity throughout different uh, temperature we have getting lesser and lesser. And let me highlight for you is when the the concrete, I mean the the velocity starts to drop when the heat is heat up until roughly 100 to 200 range. So it's a very official, uh, I mean, it's very essential, uh, important data for us to know in order to produce a, a nice concrete and total concrete. So more on that slide. Thermal expansions. Okay, so for your, info, for your information as well, thermal coefficient of our concrete is roughly 10 million per degree Celsius. And you can see in the um, the graph here, and when the temperature increases, the thermal expansion of our concrete is getting expanded as well. So it's roughly reached until 700, our concrete will have expand 1.3% on it. So um, a funny thing is, the concrete will stop expand until, uh, stop expand when it reaches 7, 700 degrees Celsius and remain constant even though we increase the temperature for it. Um, so let me clarify for you before I pass the session to another one. Is I did carry out thermal expansion, section diagram, and the modulus of elasticity because uh, and during this experiment I also did a lot of times to ensure our customer have a better experience and create a very good product for our customer and save our work. So let me pass the session to. Okay, hello, I'm T. Isong. So, I'm going to tell you the process and the raw materials we use with, uh, for our product. Right, so to achieve the maximum fire resistance of a concrete, it's basically based, it's basically based on the aggregate, the composition of the aggregate. So, after we carry out a lot of the tests, the study, and the laboratory tests, we have achieved the best composition of an aggregate. Which, which we call that 3 to 2 to 2 to 0 0.5. 3 parts of the gravel, 2 parts of the sand, and 2 parts uh, of the cement, and 0 0.5 of the hydrogen, uh, sorry, and 0 0.5 of the hydrated line. So, when we use the hydrated line? For information, hydrated line. Hydrated lime, this is the, one of the oldest, one of the, sorry, one of the elders product used by the humans. Yeah. And moreover, when we put the hydrated lime inside the concrete, it will increase the durability of the concrete. For information again, hydrog hyd hydrogen lime, um, it is one of the carbonate aggregates, which is uh, fire resistant. During the combustion, uh, I mean, during the chemical reaction, of the carbonate of the lime with the fire, it will release the carbon dioxide. As you know, right, when the fire reacts with the oxygen, it will spray very fast. So when we use the lime inside the concrete, after the uh, going through the chemical reaction, we will release the carbon dioxide. We believe that this will slow down the spread of the fire. And besides that, okay, besides that, uh, when we put the hydrogen lime inside the concrete, it's because during the chemical reaction, it absorbed the exothermic energy by the fire. So with these two, re with these two reasons, we believe that the fire will be stopped and spread slowly. So we believe that the, when we put the hydrogen lime, the, this aggregate we use inside the concrete, we believe that this is very good for your safety. Uh, let me use another little 
show you. Actually, we have provided the price list uh, for you. As my chairman has uh, mentioned just now, the one company, the one company uh, we have, we have manufactured the three types of the uh, bricks, which is DW20, DW30, and DW40. DW indicates our company name, which is the one. Sorry, next slide. Uh, Okay, you can see that DW20, DW30, and DW40. DW indicates our uh, company name and the one. Uh, for the 20, indicates that 20 megapascal pressure, uh, the priest can increase that. So, moreover, you can choose the size of the bricks. You can see here, the, there are four types of the bricks. Alright, from the press list, press list uh, given, as you can see that our price is about the market price and even lower than the market price. So this has achieved our company vision, which is a photo price. And moreover, uh, we also produce the ready mix concrete and we sell it in a little cube. All right, uh, next So we will use the concrete, we will use the high uh, fire resistant concrete. First, we use a high fire resistant concrete in the emergency areas in the infrastructure, such as the tunnel of the emergency entities. Besides that, we also use it in the general uh, to improve the fire resistance of some uh, infrastructure. You can do the renovation or review. For example, the kitchen and the uh, laboratory. So next, we also sorry, uh, we also use uh, the fireproof concrete. Uh, in cladding for structural members. For example, just imagine one day your neighbor house is on fire, but at the moment you wake up, you are still alive. You wake up peacefully. This is all because of the fireproof concrete and because of the one. So now, Elson, we have two questions for you guys. Okay, as a recap, uh, it's undeniable that fireproof concrete is an essential development in this industry because in order to provide maximum security, maximum protection in the future, as fire is an imminent threat to all buildings, fiber concrete is an essential element. And our fiber concrete has achieved maximum capabilities to outperform normal concrete. For example, we stand high heat capacity, extreme heat, like what uh, Mr. Sawaikian has uh, explained just now. And our products are, are able to offer better product, uh, protection to society as we are able to provide um, low prices, reasonable prices, so that everyone could afford maximum protection for the family because no one could put a price on protection. And other than that, our products are also um, recognized to be eco-friendly as our production, our man the manufacturing of our product will not give off uh, harmful side effects. Uh, compared to normal concrete. So with that, we'd like to say thank you for listening to our presentation and that's it from us.